What's going on guys, Klinger here today, and we're gonna do something a little bit different again. We're gonna be looking at the test plays. I'm gonna be doing a voiceover, and we're pretty much gonna talk about everything that's changing, that's happening in the test plays. I'm gonna switch things up a little bit, and get away from our uh, normal gun gameplay of a conversion. We're just gonna cover a whole lot of stuff. Um, there's been a lot of balancing changes, there's been a lot of nerfs, buffs, all that stuff, so we're just gonna cover everything. Okay, and starting with the big one. Shotguns are getting nerfed pretty decently. Um, mainly the 870 and the AA12. Pretty much. I'll show all these changes on screen, but pretty much. The extended mag options for the AA12, the servo shotgun, and the 870 is going to be moved to the ammo. So this no longer means that you can run flechette 20 round AA12. So you're gonna have to choose flechette or 20 round. So you got that. Another thing that shotguns are facing now, there's only one style of choke for your shotguns. It used to be, the chokes used to be different if you were hip firing or ADS. They made that all standard one solid choke and that's how it should be IRL. So I'm glad they did this. Um, they're working on ejecting shells properly. Nothing major on that. And yeah, they decreased the spare ammo for the 870 and the Serbu. And, yeah, that's probably one of the biggest things for the shotgun. Another thing they did, they worked on the AK-12C variants. Um, you can have a long barrel now, a short barrel, stuff like that. We're just quick buzzing through the, uh, the roadmap on the Stylish Discord. They added a 30-06 cartridge to the DBV. So that is going to do 59 damage and drop down to 49 and that is a 20 round mag so your DBV is going to be a DMR pretty much now. Kind of crazy. They also are working on a China Lake. Um, China Lake from Black Ops 1 is a grenade launcher but they stated that it's not going to be an explosive so I'm assuming it's a shotgun. I got a screenshot here that I'll show you guys. Kinda cool. I don't know if it's gonna be, I'd assume it's only a one one shot shotgun and it's probably gonna be a secondary. But yeah, I mean, I like the concept, but hey, new potential gun to be, uh, to be added. Another thing they added is the X95 SMG, the arms core ammo that makes it a shotgun. I already made a video on that. I'm not gonna talk too much about it. Um, they added the extended mag to the X95 SMG as well. They added a 7.62 conversion for the uh, the PP Bison, and that gives it 36 damage. It drops down to 20, and it still has a 700 RPM. Has 35 rounds in the mag and 140 in the reservoir. Kind of cool. They also, they're like I said, they're doing a lot of work. I'm just buzzing through this. So they also updated. Uh, character skins in the game for the Phantom and Ghost. They just add a little bit of coloring to the characters. Pretty cool. Um, nothing old, like too special. They made it a little bit more vibrant. It should be a little easier to tell the difference between between the two. They added a 7.62 NATO round for the uh, the SCAR PDW, so it makes it a uh, like a mini SCAR H. They are buffing the SKS because they want to have they want the Mark 11 to have a uh, better alternative. So the RPM for the SKS is going to be 500 instead of 433. 20% reload speed, like 20% faster reload speed, uh, faster aim speed, faster movement speed. And for the Halloween update, they are going to be changing the grenades and replacing them with skulls. Kind of cool. I mean, just little things they're doing for the Halloween. Uh, they pretty much are revamping every single map that's in the game for Halloween too. So if you play the test plays, you'll you'll see a bunch of them. But every every big map has a Halloween variation that they're gonna add in Halloween. It's pretty dang cool. The Remington 700 is going to be buffed a little bit. The range is gonna be increased and the aim speed is gonna be increased. Um, I've noticed for a little bit that 
the R700 is kind of slacking in the uh, in the snipers. So hopefully this buff makes it a little better. I'd like to see a little bit of a damage buff, but I don't think they're going to do that. So we'll have to see how that works. And lastly, the L2A3 is having a 45 ACP conversion. Um, kind of a standard grease gun conversion. It's a uh, 1500 kill unlock. The damage is increased by 25%. Fire volume is increased, so the fire rate's increased. The recoil is obviously increased, and the penetration's lowered, the bullet speed's lowered, and the magazine is 30 rounds instead of, what was it, like 32 or whatever. So I'm interested to see how that goes. Um, they haven't added that in the test place yet. They probably will in a couple days, but hey, I think we covered a whole lot of stuff. Oh, we missed one. We missed one. The Groza 1 has a 5.56 NATO conversion. And it has more power close range, but long range it's going to lose the power. Lower penetration, faster bullets. Uh, we'll see how that is. I don't know. I like these little conversions here and there. But yeah, I kind of figured that this wasn't going to be... I should have made a video on everything in general. So I'm just kind of throwing it into a massive video. So there's a bunch of different conversions, balancing changes, all that stuff. And I didn't want to make a video on every single thing, so I kind of threw it together. So there is your weekly test place update. Weekly test place update, we'll call it that. Let me know if you want this in a series. We can make this a series or something like that. But hey, thank you guys so much for watching. We stream six days a week and we have a discord a link to both of those will be in the description but hey have a fantastic day i will talk to you later peace